This is probably one of the top 12, so the top dozen of all storms ever seen on this planet with the satellite or in person. That's how big this is. It is not as deep as Gilbert and Wilma in the Atlantic, but the wind speeds are higher than those storms because the eye is so small. This is just the most incredible picture I can show you. That this eye right there, it, it just, it reminds me of Andrew slamming into South Florida as the eye of Andrew got smaller and smaller. Now, Andrew's eye was the most important part of that storm because that's where the big winds were, 150, 160 miles per hour. This storm is sandy size in width. This is the entire country of the Philippines. And so there's a lot of bubble here. There's a lot of water under this storm. There's going to be storm surge. 50, maybe 60 feet. All the people along the eastern shores of the Philippines will be moving out and getting to higher ground as a Cat 5 hurricane, 175 miles per hour. Right now, they're thinking, they're, they don't fly planes into these storms uh, out here. They're thinking about 190 miles per hour right now, and it'll still be 150 when it moves south of Manila. Now, that's the good news. The forecast is south of Manila by 150 miles. There still will be damage in Manila, and there's still an awful lot of people out here. Uh, the next, the biggest storm, even this is smaller than the one that's going to hit tomorrow, um, killed 1,900 people in 2012. And it hasn't been a good year for the Philippines. Look at all of the storms that have crossed that nation. It has been ugly out there, and this is the biggest one of the year so far. So that's why we say it's always typhoon season, even though there comes an end of hurricane season out here in the Pacific. Yeah, sure. The waters stay warm, and they can be, it can be a typhoon any month of the year, Susan. Chad, is there anything, I mean, in light of the fact that we've got this warning, we know it's coming, is there anything that people can do there? Because I imagine that the damage could be extraordinary if people don't pay attention, at least don't prepare for what is going to hit them. Well, the good news is, if there is any, is that this area here is not as populated as Luzon up into Manila. This is where the real densely populated area would be. We will lose people no matter what you can do. There are, this is almost at some point for some people on these islands an unsurvivable storm. They want to get on the opposite side of the island if they can because all the upslope will make all the rain and there will be massive flooding. The winds, if you get a wind at 175 or 190 miles per hour, it doesn't even matter what kind of a building you have. It's going to sustain some damage. It's get low and stay out of the water. That's the big thing right now.